The AI revolution has begun, which means leaders need to rapidly upgrade their skill sets to effectively compete or collaborate with artificial intelligence that has become faster, smarter and cheaper than us. No! This means urgently upgrading your intelligence to prepare yourself for a game that you don't even know the rules for yet. But how do you acquire new skills quickly? If you barely have enough energy to make it through the day, let alone adapt to a rapidly changing environment. You upgrade your ability to learn fast by using my 521 method that is based on the latest research into neuroscience. And I've got a free download for you below from my best selling book, Unstoppable, that will help you to put this into practical action. But first, you need to understand the five signs you'll fail miserably at learning new skills you need to thrive in the 21st century. One, you have trouble staying on task. Two, you don't keep a schedule that supports both biological and psychological health. Three, you become easily overwhelmed by new information and retain very little. Four, you're resistant to change. And five, you don't train your brain to focus. To address these, we apply the 521 method, which simply means sinking your brain frequency to the task, rest and rejuvenation, followed by repetition. By coincidence, the number 521 in Chinese has been bestowed with the meaning, I am willing. And willing, you must be. These are advanced strategies that I've used for years to write seven books. Unstoppable, I wrote a 90,000 word draft in 90 days after three months of intense learning. I've always followed the LAC rule. Learn something, apply it, consolidate it to memory. For this, you need to master the 521 method first. Your first step is to understand that time management is irrelevant. Have you ever completed a task that took you a few minutes, only to do that same task a few days later and it took you hours? That's because it may have been the right time to do it, but the wrong brain frequency to do it in. A new study from the University of Cambridge showed that tuning your brainwave rhythms speeds up learning in adults. Scientists demonstrated for the first time that tuning into a person's individual brainwave cycle before they perform a learning task dramatically boosts the speed at which cognitive skills improve. The frequency they used was alpha. Alpha is a relaxed yet creative state. It makes it easy to process new information and to put us into the optimal arousal zone for focus i.e. not too stimulated and not too understimulated. For years, I've used a combination of five steps to prepare myself to learn or to write. All five steps coincide with producing alpha brainwaves. You don't need to use all five all the time, but I do when I'm on a strict deadline. They include one, meditation or neurofeedback for 15 minutes a day. You can do this one of two ways, simply closing your eyes and gazing into the void or practicing deep breathing through your nose for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Or two, using a device such as Muse Meditation that is active brain entrainment. This helps to build the muscle of focus on a daily basis by giving me real-time feedback when I become distracted. Two, reading for 10 minutes before diving into a key task. Reading produces alpha brain waves. Three, listening to binaural beats in an alpha frequency while working. Four, taking L-theanine, a natural nootropic, 30 minutes prior to learning because it produces alpha brainwaves within 30 minutes of consumption. And five, for the more advanced, using neurostimulation to produce alpha brainwaves through a device called NeoRhythm. It uses pulsed electromagnetic fields to trigger specific electrical changes within the body. PEMF, as it's otherwise known, has been studied and used since the 1970s. Which leads us to two in the 521 method. When I'm working on a new book, there are two things that I do every single day. They are one, rest. Studies have revealed that purposefully taking breaks from anywhere from five to 60 minutes while studying reinvigorates your mind, increases productivity and strengthens your focus. But let me be clear, social media is not an effective break. No, God, please, no! A study from the Journal of Behavioral Addictions found that participants who took a phone break mid-task took 19% longer to complete the assigned tasks and solved 22% fewer problems 
than other participants. When I'm writing a book, I personally take up to two 15 minute naps per day. You can schedule this by using the free download below. And two, exercise four hours after learning. In a study published in Current Biology, they found those who exercised four hours after a learning session retained information better than those who didn't. Exercise increases BDNF, which is otherwise known as miracle growth for your brain. It enhances learning. This could be a simple walk for at least two minutes or up to 30 minutes of cardio. Then we get to the one in the 521 method, which is the most important of all, repetition. But people typically think of repetition as rereading the same passage or practicing a skill over and over again physically. While that's incredible, I've found this to be far more effective, and that is to practice mental rehearsal. In fact, nurses have used it for the acquisition of surgical skills for life or death scenarios. A study found that a team who spent 25 minutes mentally rehearsing surgical skills performed better than the control group who just watched a training video. They discovered that it helped to clear psychological stress, increase self-esteem, and improve learning skills by reducing cognitive load. To do this is as easy as simply closing your eyes and create a mind movie of yourself acquiring the skills and knowledge you need, such as reading or taking an online course. See yourself taking individual actions to then seeing yourself having successfully completed the task or skill you wish to acquire and feeling confident. Then rewind this back and forth a minimum of 10 times. It takes just seconds once you've mastered it. It also releases resistance to change. Not only will it help you to access an alpha state, it also tricks your subconscious mind into thinking that you've already been there and done it before, which means there's nothing to fear and only focus to fuel you. After a week, I guarantee you that the 521 method will become habitual and you'll rapidly upgrade your ability to learn and adapt to changes coming down the pipeline that will impact every facet of your life. For your first step is to download the free journal pages below that pulls all of the pieces of this method together for you fast.